If anything, the experience of this year has made music feel all the more important to me, precisely because as a medium, it's so powerful at telling these contradictory stories, which can be hard to make sense otherwise. Electronic music for me this year has taken on a whole new meaning in my life. My name is Kidnap. I am a music producer based in London. I moved to London when I was 21 to pursue music writing. I absolutely love it here. It's just such a rich community. Having explored various other parts of the world, I still feel like for electronic music, London really is the place for me. My studio setup is pretty sparse, really. I have bits and pieces of gear, but 90% of what I do is from the piano, often in my house rather than in the studio. This is my Yamaha M1. I've had it for about three years, and pretty much everything I do comes out of here. It is great because it has real hammers and weighted keys, so you have all the tactile feedback of the real piano, but it also has digital outputs, so you can put in things like reverb pedals, distortion pedals, I try to work as much as possible with audio, little bits of piano, little bits of field recordings, that sort of thing. Even though it's electronic music, I try to make the process as acoustic as possible. It's an easy way to get a lot of character into your sound then. Lockdown was, was a very interesting time in my experience and certainly gave me a sense of freedom when I was writing music. I'd set out with less of an agenda, but less of a finished product in mind and just opened myself up to try and channel some experience into music and make, yeah, make something that way. Silence was a track that arrived in the first week of April, at the beginning of lockdown in London. And it was just a reflection of that time for me or for my, my personal experience of it. I would spend my days cycling through the deserted streets of London up to the studio and it was eerie and it was quiet, but it was also calm and beautiful and this funny contrast between these two things. So silence was my attempt to try to capture all of the aspects that I was experiencing at the time and consolidate it into a piece that I could look back on and tell the story of that time for me. The harmony of silence allowed me to bring together the disparate feelings of this huge global event and the nothingness that was my experience of it and, and try to find some middle ground between the two. Harmony is very good at containing contradiction. By its nature, it is multiple stories being told at the same time, often disagreeing with one another. There's kind of multiple narratives that move through it. So it's, it's excellent at bringing these discordant stories together and telling them as one. I feel really happy that this track is coming out. This was my first big reflection on 2020 as a year, so it feels like it's nice to get it off your chest. But music has been my hiding place this year and it's, it's a way that I can record my experience and find solace in that process.